did you ever want to add a button in the editor to help trigger some commonly used function? Follow this quick guide to learn how, at the same level as the source folder, create a folder to house the new module. Alternatively, Rider's quick module creation wizard can take care of several steps here, auto-generating some of the boilerplate stuff, but for clarity, we'll be doing this manually. Create the new module name.build.cs file to define its dependencies with other modules. In the .u project file, or .u plugin if it applies, add the configuration details about your modules, whilst in, in the project's build.cs file list the dependencies. Optionally, if you wish to apply this module on a project-wide level, add the new module in the .target.cs file, as well as in the editor version of the file if it applies. Create a .h and a .cpp file in the same folder as the first step. Feel free to use public-private structure and add some basic functionality in order to see the effects. Optionally, if you want to change the icon, check out the icons defined in slateeditorstyle.cpp or starshipstyle.cp found in source editor, editor style private. Test your changes. If your module fails or doesn't get loaded, right click on the .u project file in Explorer and generate VS project files. Congrats for implementing your first module. Now let's try to do something more with this. For example, a quick implementation on toggling between day and night. Nice. Modules are also very useful to use in order to implement functionality that you want to reuse in other projects. Tune in every week for quick tips and tricks for Unreal Engine 5. Thanks for watching.